And very quickly I realized that my hands are on his chest. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. This is Arumi here. Welcome back to Love Ritual. We are here uh, talking to Shenrei about the whole case going on and everything. And <laughs> it kind of feels like he kind of like couldn't really protect the innocence of his uh, case person. I don't know what they call him, their client. Because he's, he's getting really hyped now. <laughs> and by the way, one more piece of strangeness. The second ray goes beyond the outer circle. Uh, oh my god, that bracelet is, bracelet on her is so pretty. Sorry, I'm easily so distracted. <laughs> and through it, an energy could come out. And while I noticed the traces of the chalk, perhaps there was a fuse. Although, why two fuses? This makes no sense. You know, there's nothing in the report about these oddities. Did you just wink at me? <laughs> Not a, <laughs> not a single word. You're very experienced with rituals. Yeah, it's all in the family. The family tower is far from cities. Stuff with books about rituals. There is nothing else to do, really. But what do you think about these tree roots? Do they not seem strange to you? What can you say about them as a druid? Roots. Uh, the roots. Well, these ones that come down to the left on the wall. They look unusual, as if reaching for this circle. To the fuse. Yes, I think that they could grow up because of the spilled essence. Those with the bones hanging at them, quite normal. There is a soft ground rock. It is not a problem to break through for an adult tree. Uh huh. Don't you think they grew there very conveniently, located just where it was needed? Did that person purposely grow a tree there too for this whole plan? I don't know. Perhaps it is weird. What do you mean? Can the druids grow such roots straight from the cave? I could, but why? And look at all of these necromancer attributes. Guys, to be honest, I feel like there's two people working together and they're friends, you know? <laughs> yes, but almost all of this can be brought, bought on the market. No druid would buy such muck, muck from ne necromancers. Shemray became red, red because of the outrage he was feeling. Either he's a terrific actor, or he does not know how to hide his feelings very well. And in any case, even after inspecting the place, the picture is not clear. This bag with herbs is, is exactly the work of the druids. <sighs> Everything is becoming more and more complicated. I need to do something, go beyond, and I, I apparently I know what to do, because I sure don't. Shenrei, I need to perform this ritual again. What? Not acting then, he definitely does not know how to hide his feelings. He's genuinely shocked by his statement. I'll repeat this ritual right now. By doing this, I can find the missed details and my mistakes. But how? Are you serious? The first one nearly destroyed the whole forest. Why is this not bothering you? Listen, Shenrei. I know what I'm doing. Just trust me. Do you really want to understand what really happened and who is to blame? Oh. Mm, are you sure you want to do this? This is so cute. He looks so cute here. It's like unsure kind of expression. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> do you, uh, the, 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 oh wait, go up. I gotta go down. Are you sure you want to do this? Um, to be honest, I don't think I should be recreating the mistake just to figure out what happened. But maybe it will give me some kind of clue. I feel like I shouldn't do it where the crime scene happened, though. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> Truthfully, no. I shouldn't once again perform the ritual, which has already led to negative consequences. I'm glad that he made such a decision. Anyway, it is clear who invo who's involved in this. I think that's all. It makes no sense to linger, as I don't believe I will find any new evidence. Besides, it's time to return to the hotel and to reveal all the evidence. I hope no one will insist on a second crime scene inspection. If I will need to get here, again, my legs will kill me. Alright, Shinrei, ready to go? If you are, so am I. Yeah, because I don't want to repeat 
uh, a fucking crime scene in the crimes. Oh, kitty! There's a kitty right here. Hold on, let me read this. As we began to walk back, Shinrei seems to have gotten faster, but I suspect it's the stupid heels giving me trouble. Kitty. Kitty, kitty. You found the mana cat. Aww. Why is he so fast that I can barely keep up with him? All because of these damned shoes. Why did I choose them at all? Don't worry, I'm fine. Ouch! I stumble and fall... <laughs> Oh no! Fall and fall. Oh, I stumble and fall and right on Shen Rei. He manages to catch me, and very quickly I realize that my hands are on his chest. <laughs> I did not mean to do that. My eyes go wide, but it's his fault for not putting clothes on. Jesus, put some clothes on. I mean, he lives in the forest, right? I, I assume it's hot in here, so I assume that's why he doesn't have a shirt on. I don't know. I've never met any lawyers that don't wear shirts. <laughs> I have to think of something. Say that I'm not doing this on purpose. It seems to me that this awkward moment lasts forever. I raise my head to look into his eyes. Or maybe this is a good moment to... Oh! Signorina Relay, your feet have blisters. Looking down at my feet when I stumbled, a shoe flew off my foot. And now I can see the condition of it. Those blisters look bad. No wonder my feet hurt. And it would have been no wonder if my other foot looks the same as this one did. Oh yeah, let's get back to the hotel where I can... No, 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 this just won't do. I can't have you walk all the way back like this. I was about to ask him what he would suggest we do instead, but he just picks me up with an arm around my back and the other under my legs and begins to walk down a side path. You're in no state to walk. <laughs> I love the actual bouncing. That's so cool. You're in no state to walk as you are now. Don't worry, I might not be the best druid around, but I know enough healing magic to fix this. There's a nice stream of water which we can use as a natural source to leave it to me. Part of me wants to complain. I'm the one who came here to help him solve the case, and instead, I'm getting my blisters healed by him instead. This is outrageous. On the other hand, part of me wants to enjoy getting carried like this. I don't think I've ever been in such intimate contact with anyone before. Might as well cherish it. Thankfully, I have some herbs with me, or on me. I always keep some in case someone needs them, and the steam should be pure, and I'll have a remedy ready in no time. He carried me in his arms for so long, seemingly not tired at all as he walks quickly to the stream. I wouldn't be surprised as he has enough strength to carry me to the hotel. I wouldn't have guessed he was a lawyer. He looks like he only runs through the woods for days like a wild stag. To be honest, yeah. After what seemed like forever in his arms, he gently sat me down on a flat rock. I can hear water not too far away. Shenrei disappears for a short while. He brings back a large vial filled with clear water. Dude, the blisters on my foot! I was gonna say I'm so pretty, but then I got distracted and saw my foot bruises, blister stuff. So cute! Here, I brought clean fresh water to rinse the wound, and then I will apply an ointment that will help heal it. Clean, cleanse the wound. I look at my heel. How did this happen? Some of the blisters had now split open, and a notable amount of blood is seeping from the open sores. Jesus! Why would you think to wear heels in the forest or woods anyway? <laughs> I mean, uh, if you were going there for a photo shoot real quick and then come back out, but <laughs> I'm there to investigate. I then felt a little nauseous, and now I didn't want him to touch my leg anymore. Shinrei, are you sure this is necessary? Don't worry, everything will be fine. I will take care of your feet and you will be able to walk like before. He sounds confident, but I'm not sure. He cleanses the wound with the water, but when he brings out a small jar and applies what's inside it, yeah, I figured it was gonna burn. It's burning. Sorry, sorry, wait a bit. He sits aside the jar and covers my foot with his hand. Shenrei frowns. I notice a drop of sweat running down his forehead. He's so tense. Maybe we should stop him. The pain is not that strong anymore. <gasps> Ooh, an actual glowed. There, there. I got no chance to say anything. His palms are enveloped in the soft glue and the pain gradually disappears. Shenrei, that's enough. The pain is gone already. I'm sorry, Signorina Relay. I am very ashamed of my mistake, but we had to treat the wound. He looks tired. Did the simple sorcery away a lot? Uh, did the simple sorcery take away a, a lot of his strength? From the bag, Shinrei takes out two more small jars. Even a small scratch can be a problem in the forest. Shinrei quickly, uh, carefully applies salve to the wound. You know, I imagine an advocate to be a little different. What do you mean? Are all druid advocates are like you? You look like you don't leave the forest often. Uh, you are right, actually. Advocacy requires a constant life in the city. All the druid clerks change in adapting to the city life. But I became a lawyer not too long ago. 
Before that, I spent all my time in Drew's circle or in the fur forest. Oh, so he's like a fresh lawyer. <laughs> Don't you want to go back to the circle? Leave the city. Sometimes I wish it, but returning to live as before won't work for me. Why not? I, I'd rather not talk about it. In a way, I came here when I have free. I come here when I have free time. Shinrei then opens a jar and applies an ointment to my feet. Smell like pine needles and mint, sharp but quite pleasant. I feel like he has some baggage with maybe the inner circle of the druid thing. And why so many ointments? Are the sores really that bad? You meant this pine ointment? Don't worry, it's a it's to relieve the tea. Wait a bit and you, we will be ready to go back. How? I'm not putting those heels back on. I lost one, by the way. I don't know where that went. You begin to massage my feet carefully. It feels so pleasant. There's nothing better than a massage after a long walk. Perhaps my poor shoe choice was not such a bad decision. Here. There. I do not want such beautiful legs to suffer. Shinri paused and blushed heavily. <laughs> was that a compliment? I don't know what to say to him. I begin to feel uncomfortable with the sudden pause in the conversation. I better switch the topic now and I do just that. This place is astonishingly beautiful. Yes, it is. It's a pity I've never been here with a girlfriend before. What is with you guys talking about girlfriends? <laughs> I mean, I guess in their career, they're too busy for girlfriends. You had a girlfriend. I have been in a relationship before. Oh, well, this topic is different. We learned his past relationship, but it was a long time ago, long before I moved to the city, and I haven't had time for a relationship. But you have the time to walk in the woods. This is different. I would like to... The work is more important. The forest is a necessary part of these lands. There are many people who simply do not understand this, and they are ready to harm us. Necromancers are one of them. Please be careful around them. Signaling a relay. Rely, sorry. Darkness runs through their veins instead of blood. Is he trying to pull me to be on his side, or is he jealous? To be honest, it's actually becoming a bit funny concerning how dramatically offended he is by necromancers. I will take note of your warning, Shenrei. Shenrei gives me a smile and soon stops massaging my feet. And the massage is done. Let's hurry back to your hotel. I really want to know about his ex-girlfriend. Like, uh, stories like that when uh, characters have, like, past girlfriends. They do hurt me, especially if I'm trying to go for their story. But hurting is part of the process. And in the 20th edition, their fertility ritual was completely changed. No one will prevent someone from using this ritual. The changes do not mean a ban, do they? Yes, but a minute. Using bones from an animal from animals that died at natural death could be of use in Judaism. Perhaps, but I see no sense in it. What a stubborn man. I want to continue this conversation, but we have arrived at the hotel entrance. I look at the clock. Despite all the delays in the forest, we returned to the city earlier than I thought. Here we are. Once again, I apologize for the blisters. I hope you will rest well today. It's not your fault. Everything is fine. Good. I don't want to delay you anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess. Until we meet again. Bye. Oh, whoa, whoa. Were these lighthouse, lighthouse lights here? Always? I mean, it's not a lighthouse, but it reminds me of lighthouse. Well, now, what a day. My chat with Shenrei was quite nice. Barring the little incident with the heels, but at least I gathered evidence for today. Let's review what you told me. What can I say? The herb pouch is definitely a druid creation. The roots are also most likely druid as a magic, although necromancer items can be bought on the market. There are a lot of things that are bothering me. What a complexing case. I guess I'll just sleep, it, sleep on it for now and make some kind of rough decision tomorrow. Time to sleep. <sighs> I'm still on my theory that it's neither and if it's not neither it's two people that are both same clans well not same clans one's in druidism druidism is that a word in this game <laughs> one's with the druids and one's with the necromancers that's all i can think of <sighs> nothing like a good night's sleep and no alarms to wake me up i feel like a reborn woman as we prepare for the upcoming day i think on the mysteries that plagued me last night even if it's definitely too early to come to any kind of conclusion i should at least have some kind of idea of who i'm after in mind <sighs> um we're gonna save here because i looked over and we're, we're, we're nearing that time but we're gonna save here for today because 
I'm gonna already tell you guys, I'm gonna say there's something bigger at stake here. I don't think neither of these guys have done anything. And if it is someone, I believe it's someone in both clans, because there's no way a necromancer can go into the druid's forest without being questioned. So, it's probably a necromancer gave stuff to a druid and the druid tried to do it. That's my theory. It could be wrong. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you guys in the next one.